I'm recording you. This is Sharita Star being she's being recorded and it's it's part two of our fabulous Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde sort of power hour. Um, let's help this plan it out to deal with what's going on. And um, plus, we just love talking about all the cool possibilities that we can shift our minds into consciously and and have a better time, a better go of it. And we were just sort of talking about falling. So be careful, people, (laughs) in this time. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, I've heard so many people, they're falling down, breaking things, so on, all preventable. My and girlfriend just fell and hit her head. Yeah. Uh, they're ice skating. Compulsively. There's a compulsiveness that they're not listening to the retrograde requests about. We cannot act compulsively. You have to be conscious under this energy or you, you will get tripped. And then I mean that literally, uh, you know, or tricked by Mercury, especially, uh, but with the doubling and actually it's not even a doubling. It's not just a doubling. It is a doubling, but there's technically right now, as we finish off January, it's a quadruple layer of reflection as I would look at it on a forecasting level because wow. not only do you have the venus retrograde which that's been going on since the 19th of december we're so tired of that we don't even know what to do with ourselves at this point. <laughs> i don't have any i need a refill on that patient's bottle you know it's like where is more we need more patients uh, you know mercury joined in on the 14th uh three days later on the 17th we had um the full moon kickoff, which now is us naturally in the month's timing of a waning phase. That's when everything is also naturally pulling away. It's naturally in a state of reflection. Um, All waning phases, which we get 12 of them throughout any calendar year, uh, half our month is spent. Ideally, we want to be reflecting or reassessing and, and putting our energies into that direction. And then on a universal month level, with um, how we understand timing just by knowing we're in a sixth universal year uh, in 2022. So January puts us in a seven universal month because there's a flow of that one to nine within the month to month and the day to day. And there's all the, you know, like, you know how deep dive this can go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So what's a seven? What's a seven month? Seven is also, guess what? It's a reflection. It's all about reflection, inner work. This is January. This is, this is, when did this hit? The whole month of, okay. So that's the third layer. Fourth. That's the fourth. So technically the fourth with the way that the waning moon popped Mm. in on the 17th. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you already had the two retrogrades engaged. So that now to finish January past the 17th of January is a full on four layer cake of reflection does again you know, can I say shit on here that of course that shit isn't <laughs> of course say that I love I love colorful language yeah, it's, it gives I texture mean, texture well you know I, 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 I exercise my throat chakra <laughs> <laughs> I I agree there's an unprecedented level of self-reflection going on. I mean, definitely even in my own um, world. And I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I can't even imagine what it is to be a therapist right now. (laughs) I need you you right now. that, That like, I have chills thinking about that as you just said that, because that is going to be, I, I tell you, if you are a therapist on any level and, and we are in our own right, you know, obviously maybe not like a psychotherapist or, you know, whatever you, you get your fancy degree for, but these people are going to be in such demand. They already they, are. They already, I mean, they totally already are. are. Let's yeah. Face it. It's going to go like, it's a good field to go into. <laughs> um, I mean, despite what's collectively happening, I mean, we're in a collective healing right now. That is all part of, you know, I had talked about that the last time that we, we got together here and, and had our, 
our end of the year of 21 conversation, but you know, we knew in 2022 this this theme of mastering the value of compassion was going to be called upon us. We're, we're, we're nowhere near the intensity of what that's truly about. And wow. You know, we're just getting warmed up, as one would say, you know. Wow. Wow. So when yeah. when when we're mastering the art of compassion, I know from the work that I do, um, which people are really wanting um, to, it's that deeper dive. I think I think therapists, this is how I see it. Therapists do the conceptual work. They help you frame the the, yes. the intellectual thought process and how to sort yes. of navigate from that level and then the hypnotherapist well the kind of hypnotherapist that i am and that we train are more accessing the down into the soul awareness and mind body soul interface and yes. and dropping in on that deeper level um but when we're mastering compassion within ourselves. I mean, I think that start, it starts with ourselves. So that's why we're feeling such a well, huge, I mean, if you don't have it for yourself, you can't do it for anybody else. So that's right. That's why <laughs> it's, so, that's why January is so hard, right? If people are ignoring this, th their month has not been easy. I mean, it's, and even yeah. the people who are deciding to step up and do this work, it's not any, I don't want to say that it's been an easy breezy month for me personally either, but I recognize how the energy needs to be navigated. Right. And, and like you so delightfully posted yesterday, we have to allow ourselves the permission to just not feel like we've got it all together. It's perfectly fine. Stop being perfect. There's be nothing messy. <laughs> be messy. You are, <laughs> you are messy. We are messy. Soul yeah. work is messy. It yeah. is not. Eh, 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 oh my God! It's not a. It's not that package that you're talking about with these therapists who they do things in that fashion. And I get that's how they're trained. That that that's part of the way it works. It's I, I could get in a whole conversation about how I <laughs> don't agree with modern day medical practices on mm -hmm. multitudes of levels because sure. we shouldn't be medicating people when they just need to get to the root of the problem. Well, and, and this is this, emotions. this the, I, I'm really excited about this little moment, this little like portal into this conversation. Cause I'm working with a lot of people who are struggling with sort of addictive tendencies. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even say that they're addicts. They're they're needing to feel, wanting to feel better so badly. They're yeah. needing that serotonin, dopamine, you know, uh, oxytocin okay. hit to get, because it's, it's so hard. It's so sort of relentless. So people I think are dealing with tons of anxiety, tons of depression, tons of just like what WTF stuff. And so they're like, they're drinking more than they should, or they're smoking, whatever, more than they should and then on top of that well, america's made it legal so you know there's that <laughs> well the, and then there's the pharmaceutical component where you have you have the medical industries like okay so don't take these category of drugs but take these category of drugs you right and it's the point is what can we do like first of all what what are we doing what are we missing and I think that that compassion component, like all the people that I'm working with who are having their sort of like addictive flare ups that are coming up are people who, and, and I, everybody does this to some degree are being really hard on themselves. They're not, yes. they're, they're like, what the hell is wrong with me? Why, you know, you, we know, you know, women goddesses who are doing, you know, people who are doing the, the entrepreneurial space. And also what happens in this slowdown time is this sort of stalling out and people are like, oh my God, what is happening here? And they're not reflecting in there in that, oh, like panic. So they something to, to feel better. The green. They want to keep, put, they, they think the light is green, even though the light is actually red. Right. And then and instead of thinking, the maybe red light Right. Instead of considering like, oh, I need to turn internally and get reflective. It's like, I'm effing up. I'm screwing up. I'm doing something wrong and start to 
look externally to other people. Oh, I should be this. I'm not doing this right. And I'm not doing this right. And it just totally compounds the, the anxiety and the and worthlessness the anxiety rise. And, and mm -hmm. you, you just mentioned anxiety, depression, uh, addiction. Those are all three, seven energies on, oh, the, on the negative side of what it is when you're not doing the inner work, when you're not choosing to reflect, when you're not clearing and releasing and, and, and working on, don't let that energy get caught up in you. Mm -hmm. you got to mm -hmm. move it out of you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't band-aid it. This is yeah. not a band-aid moment. And this is where we've got, I mean, let's face it. People are tired of all of this that has been happening since the, the, the 20th of, of uh, May, 2020, March, 2020, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people are tired of it. Whatever side of the fence uh, you happen to be on, you're still tired of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, and, yeah, it's and everything is just like the constant barrage of grief and loss and change and unfamiliarity. And everybody has lost something at this point. And that is, another huge, you know, part of what the cycles are telling us we were going to be experiencing. And yeah. honestly, you know, it's not like somebody special and they're spared from it. You know, yeah. everybody has connectivity <laughs> to all of this happening, whether they're personally getting sick, whether they know somebody who's gotten sick, mm -hmm. then you've got just what was already ongoing in mm -hmm. soul contracts and all of this stuff. But because of the right. whole situation since March of 2020, we've like just taken the bar of what grief is and we've just put the bar, the grief is all the way up here right now. You know, it, it would come in leveling, uh, you know, right around here. Well, the bar is way up there now and every, nobody knows how to contend with that. It's no. like one layer after another. And this January is just like, well, you can't just keep ignoring this anymore. You, you've got to face it, let it go, mm -hmm. or you're going to get so caught up right in it. In falsehood, and then you're not going to be able to move forward at, like you should. Mm -hmm. Like you this is doable. Do this is doable. This is, we can move through this people. It's, you can do it. Hang in there. It's all ability to heal. It is yeah. just willing to be reachable and teachable enough to realize what is it that, that I need to heal. Yeah. It's not about band-aiding this anymore and, right. and bring it up. And, and, you know, the, the other interesting thing too, about retrograde cycles is that they will also trigger past addictions. Mm -hmm. let's say you've recovered and, mm -hmm. and, and you've gotten over something in your life, but these, especially having two of them on top of one another, right. Uh, which we had, you know, the Venus came in before the holidays. Well, in the midst of the holidays in December. So, I mean, she's been like, you know, ranking on everybody. And let me tell you to get through the holidays alone, most people have to do. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> anyway, so that's a yeah. norm. Well, and then we can have compassion for ourselves around, around this experience while still addressing what needs to be addressed. I mean, I think what I notice in human, you know, what people tend to do is they say they've backslid in, into a pattern of behavior that they've thought that they've moved out of. And then right. they are in, they stay in denial about it because it's too painful to look at. And then it goes back into the closet and then it, it starts this whole cycle again. And so being mm -hmm. conscious, like, this is what I hear you saying is be conscious of what's going on. It doesn't have to be the end of the world. And what I also like to say about, about grief is it, this to me just is really helpful when things, when there's any loss at all, it could be a big thing or a little thing. There's a loss of familiarity. We as humans like having the expectation that things are going to unfold in a certain way. And when that's lost, it feels like a loss and it, and we struggle. And so whether it's a loss of a, a, a family member, a beloved, uh, a loss of a favorite pen, um, you know, whatever it is, it feels exactly. like a loss. So denying it is, is only going to make it worse. Just like putting our, our backsliding patterns 
into a closet. No, we just sort of take it out of the closet, you know, just sort of compassionately like dust it off and just go, okay, well, what do I want with this pattern? Mm -hmm. What do yeah. I want to do with it? How do I need, why what do I, I need to heal? I, like you're saying, uh, why am I hanging out with this pattern again? Do I, do I, you know, I, yeah, don't go stupid, 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 you know, don't beat yourself. Right. Because we're so, you know, we're taught to beat ourselves up. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's such a common human response. And it doesn't, yeah, response. And some people have a pattern of doing this easier than others, depending on how they're, kind of energetically composed I, mm -hmm. as I call it and, I love that and looking at a, lo, you know looking at a birth chart and how your numbers filter in and all that stuff and so it's gonna you know like w when I work with people I I you know get into okay your tendency could be could be this but you can shift it to this mm -hmm. and you're gonna get what you want focusing here and nah and, and you could almost laugh at yourself when you see the pattern show up a little bit. And, and then, and then it becomes more lighthearted because if we don't understand how to a put humor into ourselves and not that we should be laughing at grief, I don't mean it like that, but when we're doing that work with ourselves, if we can, once we start to, you know, get a grip on what it is that doesn't allow us to feel joy, we're going to be immediately, oh, I can wreck it. I'm conscious enough now. I'm not being compulsive anymore. I'm conscious enough to understand the difference. And right. that's all this is, no matter how you're made up and who you are, it's understanding how to practice this conscious behavior in your life. Yeah. And, and, oh, I don't have to go over there to think I'm feeling better. Right. Because and I don't have to check out and, worse at and I don't, yes. Day. And I don't need to check out to feel better. I don't have to, I don't need to check out to feel better. Exactly. Yeah. Which, I can actually be checked in and feel better. And I mean, that's the greatest high you're ever going to get. Yeah. But, it, but then you also need to go and do the deeper work, which like, there's just no doubt about it. Going through it feels like crap. You're, you're not encouraged. None of us are encouraged to do the deeper work because we're so set up at this point to be so programmed, to be distracted mm -hmm. and don't so pay true. attention. Don't pay attention to yeah. what you need to post about yourself. Right. right. You, you better, you better go binge watch this episode, these episodes of this show. Oh, look at the latest news that they're projecting fear upon you. Oh, now you need to go do this to like protect your life. Maybe, you know, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would say what are the, what patterns are showing up in your life? And I would say during the retrograde, retrograde, we're getting totally universal knocks on the door. Like just chill out, honey. <laughs> What's telling you to just chill the hell out, you know, and just it hold wants it. us. There's, there is this energy. So wants slowing down, like stillness, yeah. to stillness. Yeah. And we, if we, if we pay attention to what's happening around us, I mean, we just got snow. So like the kids haven't been in school since Thursday. I mean, North Carolina kind of freaks out when there's snow. And that's, yeah, that's unusual for you guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, like oh, there's, there are a couple ice oh, catches on the road. So we're not having school. Who knows when school's going to happen again, but it's like, okay, well, you're going to go, you're going to go to the the underworld. This is a time for deep reflection to re-examine. And you told me, and it was so helpful for me not to push, to create something new, not to feel in that panicky hamster wheel that mm -hmm. I got to push, 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 but to re reinvigorate something you've already done to refresh mm -hmm. something, reboot, yep. recalibrate. Uh, All those delicious yeah. RE words. Yeah. yeah. Revise, review. Revision. Revenge. My other two favorites, when it gets really wanting stillness, just rest and, and, and relax. Yeah, rest but and see, relax. People are so caught up in that anxiety and they're so caught up in I'm not busy enough. I'm not producing. I'm not getting a result. I'm not successful. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. 
they're focusing on the lack of the energy's never going to deliver this to you. I'm sorry, people. I, you, it won't. And so, you can't relax when you're in that state. What your, your you're nervous system. Relax. Yeah. Oh your God. nervous system is completely. Your head's the hamster wheel. Your yeah. head's the freaking hamster wheel. Forget it. Yeah. I would say if you're in that deep triggered space of, of, um, anxiety to stop what you're doing, listen to a meditation, do some yoga, get some fresh air. Like if you need an action, do something very mundane and be in the moment. Walking meditation is probably one of the best ways. If you're that kind of a person, I always say that too with yoga for people. Uh If you have this need for activity, because a lot of body types and depending on who you are, you need to move the energy. I I get that part, but it doesn't mean you have to be talking. Yeah. To do yeah. It. And, and yeah. if you're doing yoga, that means you're focusing on your breath. You're mm-hmm. connecting that body, mind and spirit together and you're letting it go. You're releasing with the breathing and the walking is doing the same thing. Yeah. Do a yeah. Walking meditation and just allow that to be. I, I understand that not everybody can sit in lotus position for an hour I mean, <laughs> unless you like that. Too. I, like, can't, I, I can't. I can't. I don't think I've been able to be in lotus position since I was in my teens. <laughs> I'm telling you, well, I tell you in the morning, cause I, I, I have a whole morning routine I do. And, and let me tell you, they, well, I've been told I do develop, a, I'm developing a, a hair of arthritis in my life. So I, I like get out of lotus and I'm kind of like, Oh, <laughs> And then I have to go get on the yoga mat immediately to unhinge all that. <laughs> so, but I do notice it's fun was 25 years ago, you know? So, <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure the yoga practice is, I mean, you, you, so you do, you, you sit in meditation in, in Lotus and then you do yoga. That's incredible. That's, That's so good morning. for you. That's my yes. morning every day, every day. So good. Whether, whether it's yoga, whether it's yoga, whether it's uh, retrograde or not, that is mm-hmm. what I do mm-hmm. as, as just my own practice, you know, um, because that's what I have to do. It's, 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 it's just what makes sense to me. That's not what every other person needs to do in their life. Or if you're just beginning to get your feet wet, mm-hmm. you know, you, you can't just like, you'll get aggravated trying to, to sit and meditate for an hour. All oh, you need yeah. to, get to get started is is five minutes, maybe a minute mm-hmm. or two. If There's you're so that, many adorable, uh, cute uh, five minute YouTube meditations. Look yep. those up. I'm one of those people that needs to have something different. But if I don't do something, my day will be so much different than if I yes. don't. So I've got to do some sort of mindfulness or meditation going within. And I also have to do some sort of movement. And if I don't do it, I know what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm not going to be my better self. Yeah. I I mean, I I have, I I've tested the theory. I've, I've skipped it on on occasion. And, and I do notice there's a whole different conundrums. It's a different reality. Yeah. It's like, I'm in, I'm in the, the B reality, the weird sort of like, I'm just getting cranky for no reason. I'm much more like, like things just aren't in flow. If I do my, my stuff, whatever it is, whatever I'm feeling for the day, and it's different each day. If I do that, the outcome is going to be like, every outcome is going to be exponentially more yummy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's, there is so much pressure on the planet right now. I mean, it's a pressurized, so it's, it's like the planet is a pressure cooker, you know, right? Yeah. Yep. And, and it's like, la, la, la. it's just like, the, yeah, the, the, the people rattling. feel like they're like being cooked. And everybody, yes, feels this energetic cook, cooking going on. Yeah. And, and so I, we know the lid is about to blow off here. I mean, we're, we're I, I don't think anybody's in any kind of the denial. pressure has got to release somehow. So what, what do you see happening? So, you know, and that's why it's important for us to the best of our ability to work, because if you're a sensitive, empathic, perceptive, tuned in, tapped in human being, 
you feel the pressure. So you cannot absorb that in your body, which is why you've got to figure out for yourself, there's no set formula for this. Mm -hmm. There's many pathways to releasing energy. So that's Absolutely. what yeah. people just need to do for themselves. And, and Find an outlet. right now we are in, as a country, we're in a 16, <laughs> seven personal year cycle as a nation, which means what <clears throat> we're Miss, back into the Miss clueless. Again. I'm like, ah, huh? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? I, you know, things get caught up in there sometimes. Um, <laughs> the throat chakra. The show, the, the, you know, America, <laughs> talking about America trying to meditate. <laughs> yeah, we've got some clearing. <laughs> That's right. There's a little energy to clear there because I don't yeah. know what the percentage is at this point. I do know that the interest in meditation is on the rise, the interest in spirituality or just for sure practicing some form of mindfulness in your life, however mm -hmm. you that or whatever mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. say. My, my little tagline is never compromise living consciously. However, you're I love it. Stepping, however, you're stepping closer to never compromising living consciously, then you're stepping away from doing anything out of being compulsive, which is what the whoever the powers that be, I don't know who these people are, but whoever's running the show of control and navigating everybody's brains and, and wanting people to do things their way and not the way that an individual would necessarily choose, would choose. Right. right. Which is, which is so, the difference between unconscious living and having yeah. the influence be external versus internal yeah. navigation. Coming from, you know, we've all got to come from in here. So America right now we are in, so we flow in time in nine. We've talked about this in, in other, um, I think we talked about this last time, but we'll, we'll dive in a little bit because for America right now, as a nation, as a country, as a unit, mm -hmm. and I, you know, when we say united, that word also spells untied. And if we are not witnessing that power of that word right now being mm -hmm. untied, I'm, I'm not quite sure how we're, and we've done this throughout the country's history. We've been yeah. untied times. Sure. You know, sometimes we come back united again, but now we're, we're in this untied business again, mm -hmm. and we're trying to heal that. And that's what this 16, seven year for the country is about. Mm -hmm. It is about letting the people fall off the towers that they don't need to be on in pedestal energy anymore. And we're letting all that collapse. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and a, a seven personal years about doing the inner work as a country, we've got to do this as, as, as a nation in some yeah. united way. And when we look at where is this energy calling to the country the most, <laughs> and this is where we tie right back to those, why the, the therapists are in demand is because the ruling planet of the seven year would be Miss, Mr. Neptune, who is the ruling planet of the seven universal month that the whole world is in right now. Mm. For America, Neptune is in transit in the country's thinking and mentality oh. and communications. So, well, hello, look at what's going on. We've got delusion. We've got confusion. We've got people going into this addictive energy. Nobody's, if you're not bothering to take the silent listen, if you're not bothering to stop and be still and observe and discern Mm -hmm. you're getting caught up in the chaos you're getting caught up in this windstorm going on energetically rather yeah. than staying in the eye of it yeah there's a huge storm in this country this year i mean it was brewing for a few years there yeah and then last year is when it went yeah you know, it's like yeah the storm is brewing until july of this summer uh-huh it started uh -huh. last july in 2021 it it, it keeps circulating it, it it's not going away yeah, it's, it's yeah. Around, and you can either get sucked up in that hurricane winds or you can stay in the eye of the storm. But the work, it, it, you got to do the work to stay in the eye of the storm. Agreed. I mean, you got to know how to be still in your life and go, 
know, am I really going to believe what I just was told? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Maybe unplugging, unplugging from points of view that, um, really activate these, the nervous system into terror and fear and reaction and, um, yeah. all of these, all of these, um, you know, I think that's a sign people, cause I know too, it's, it's hard to be super consistent. And I think it's, a, it's, if you are noticing that you're doing pretty well and you're hanging in there, and then all of a sudden you feel like a big charge of panic, like if it catches you in the middle of the night, or if you wake up and you don't, you feel stressed, this yeah. is an indication that you're getting caught and twirled up in it. It's, it's an indication to redouble the efforts to sink deeper into yourself to, to really double down on that reflection and, and why not, you know, why fight it? You know, I think I see that also this push against energy too. It's like, I'm, I'm going to win. I'm going like to win. That. I'm going to beat yeah. this thing. And it's like, I'm don't, don't do it. I'm yeah. just resisting. And, yeah. And no and one tells me what to do, even the, even the universe. And it's like, okay, well have fun with that. And just, yeah, you, you have some, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this month the universe is like yeah yeah y'all have fun with that you want to resist you want to resist reflection <laughs> well let me tell you how much fun i'm gonna give it give, give it to you and then let me tell you how much fun you're gonna have in february because you didn't bother to reflect because mm -hmm. february will blow you out of the water if mm. you didn't have time to reflect in january so I, let's know, talk about let's talk about that, that. No, let's give true. more I mean, let's give more more juicy uh incentive to do that inner reflection what is february gonna be like february so and for people who want to dive into like all the you know because when i the I'm a nuance writer, i talk about yeah. uh, a lot so if, if you want to dive into my uh to carve some time out to, to, to digest it because it's not a five minute read no um well, i have it's in depth of yeah, it, I have, you know, it's under my, it's, if you're on my uh, stravitastore.com, you, you go down my right side. I've got all kinds of, of things for you to click through and have fun. But it's um, under the Never Compromise Living Consciously, it's Healing America, Understanding a 16-7 a Personal Year Cycle. And then there's the Pluto Return um, piece, Near-Death Experience for America to Become Reborn. Ooh, I love the title. So that's what we're dealing with as a nation on top of the healing. Energy that's an intense, that's, that's a, separate, that's intense. Whole separate conversation of why we're in a healing year as a country. And this whole, there's another whole very strong astrological thing in play right now uh, about to hit its first mark ever as a country. We've never done this before since we were born on July 4th in 1776. We're gonna have in February, the first direct hit of a Pluto return as mm. a country. A human wow. beings cannot experience this. And, and if you know any astrology lingo, which I can you know brush on right now is, a lot of people understand, for example, what a Saturn return is. That's a very popular understanding of 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 uh, a return energy in a in a birth chart. Oh yeah, which, my dad died during my Saturn return. There you go. Yep. yep. Yeah. Which I'm sure, if I looked up that, we could explain the timing. Oh because yeah. That had something to do with that. Oh, it was a huge uh, event in my life. Game naturally. changing. A game changing. A Saturn return years, uh, which will be a couple of years. Because Saturn takes a couple years to move through the area that he was positioned in when you were born. It mm -hmm. takes him 28 to 30 years to get back to it for round one. When you're 28 to 30, you'll do another one, 58 to 60. And if should you live to be almost 90, you'll have the third one. And you, you don't get any more than that because, well, most humans haven't lived past. <laughs> we haven't gotten, gotten there yet. <laughs> You're now getting number four. But uh, as a country, we can experience something like a Pluto return because you can't experience a Pluto return as a human. We don't live 200 and something years <laughs> yeah. to be able yeah. to do it. Yeah. Right. So um this is the first time and and you know i have i've said this for years about you know america we're, we're like a teenager in the globe you know i mean yeah. we're like oh, the teenage country we're, yeah 
and yeah. all of these other places. Uh, oh, we're babies. Yeah, I mean, we're babies as as a um, we're maturity. Babies. We're like we're like teenagers we're, we're, <laughs> or toddlers. Toddlers, maybe. <laughs> like how this is working is we're about to like almost enter our early adulthood. Yeah, with the way this is kind of fingers you know, crossed. <laughs> But we're like a really messed up teenager right now, you know, like, okay. Yeah, you're a highly medicated country, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to have to work through that. We're going to have to get you out of your addictions. And how the healing with the numerology cycle is working. I mean, we got a lot of moving parts going on in, mm -hmm. in what's happening in this nation. And it's, a, it's such a powerful time. I mean, it really is. It's going to be beautiful again on the other side of this. But damn, yeah. is this ugly. Yeah, is it yeah. it's messy. We're yeah. in this, it's like a near death. Like mm -hmm. we are feeling like everything, like just like you said in, in, in the beginning of people are feeling like they don't have, the, the, there is nothing to stand on. Yeah, you know, it's falling they're, they're apart. Getting, you have no stability beneath your yeah. feet. Well, how yeah. good are you going to feel? That's why you've got bad anxiety. Right. And, and, and all these things have been stirred up in us. But the thing is, yeah, do this. If we choose ourselves to do this, it's going to ripple everywhere else. Oh, yeah. That we can heal this country. Yeah. And we you know what? It, you know Absolutely. Rebuilt. You know what I think about is when, um, you know, there are people who study natural disasters and this feels to me because the United States has stayed pretty uh, safe. You know, all of the yes. wars that we have are, are not on our own soil. And, yeah. um, and so there's a level of comfort that we uh, have and really only experience that loss of, of comfort when there are natural disasters. California knows it you know, better than a lot or people who live, yeah. who go through or like tornadoes. Like the yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So yeah. when you've had tornadoes, that, you name yeah. It. yeah. So when you have natural disasters, it, it requires a level of resilience or you don't make it. So, and when people study disasters, and I think this is fascinating, one of the hallmarks of getting through a big disaster is the ability to shift nimbly in your mind and go move from disbelief into action of like, okay, what do I need? How, how do I, how do I get through this? And I think that on a, on a broader level is what's being requested of us. We're in a disaster. I don't, I'm, I don't, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a natural one, but it was something that we as a collective, I believe we're building towards. So whether it was yeah. COVID or something else, I think we as a collective drew manifested this towards us. We did. And so, and there's oh, no I, blame. I've had that discussion with other healers and, and, and light workers and the collective yeah. created this. Nobody understands that. Who, If you're not approaching anything in a conscious way of looking at it. You would feel victimized by it. You wouldn't agree with that statement, but the, but the bottom line of all of this is the, the collective energy created this. Absolutely. You know? I mean, what, what are we paying we attention to? Because we allowed ourselves to, to go led in, yeah. in the way that we did. We, yeah. Yeah, we, up. we support mainstream media and all of the clickbait material out there that is that that gives us that dopamine serotonin hit, but just what is I've heard this this uh saying um a, a race to the bottom of the brainstem. <laughs> It's like none That's of this, amazing, right? And yeah. and Hollywood, look at Hollywood. I mean, uh, the average, and and you know, it's not a negative thing, but you're, t they're so good at captivating you. I mean, it is. It's it's easy. It's intriguing. It's like ah, uh huh. I mean, they're trained. Talk about psychology. They're good at it. Oh yeah. They know how to twist it. They know how to get they, you. They know how to make they it know. compelling. Advertising alone. I mean, look at look at what the ads you're subjected to. Well, I the mean, AI you know, algorithms are not designed for betterment. And your phone is set up. And your phone, your <clears throat> smartphone, is highly, highly designed to to get you. Yeah, it's not so, interested. Who was talking about it? Is it the guy who, what's that, that documentary? Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I, it's, um, 
oh crap, I forgot what it's called, but it's about technology and where we're headed and sort of the ethical- the social experiment or something? Yeah, uh, social the dilemma. The social dilemma. The social I think that's- dilemma. That was, yes. I haven't seen that either, but I've heard everybody was like, oh my God. And I think I get it. I already get it. I think I God for that movie because it's, I mean, I don't even probably need to watch it. I already get that. And I, yeah. I recognize that I resisted for five years getting a smartphone. I didn't want one, but I had to, you had to cave. I see. I'm like, I see, I don't watch television. I don't own a TV. So, so I come from a very, a different And you can't way watch I, Queer Eye. <laughs> I have seen the show though, and oh, I, I do get to watch things here and there. But and and I, you know, you can stream certain things on the internet, right? And, right. And watch it that way, but um, which I do adore that show. It's, it's oh wonderful. my gosh, um, you know, like you say, high vibe, you know, totally, yeah, no, just no, love. That. Um, but I just prefer it. I, it's weird because, you know, as, as I've traveled in my life and I've, you know, just like I, I toodle around and, and well, I haven't done that in, in the last year and a half or so. But you're but, a toodler. Um, I mean, I met you in Hawaii for crying out loud. I, I did toodle. I, 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 that's when I could really toodle. I could get on a plane and toodle. Um, right now I'm very quiet and, and home oriented, of course. And, and I'm just doing my own thing. Like I like to do, but I, when I have, you know, gone, I, I'm amazed at how much people watch TV and, and how they let it be the background of their life. And yeah. <laughs> like if I've ever like stayed at an Airbnb, stayed at a hotel, I never turn, I still don't turn the TV on when I have one in front of me. If I'm just, just there on my own, you know, with nobody else there, I don't enjoy television. I don't find it interesting it's 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 not I mean I don't mind watching something if it's it's something that intrigues me and I'm a nerdy brain it's just the way I'm built but my I have to thank I always thank my parents for this because when I was a kid and I was a bad little girl I was always getting in trouble for something talking back being sassy whatever the hell it was so my parents as a as a consequence they took away which of course there was like nothing on television in the 70s <laughs> in the early 80s anyway I mean there was television but you know so that was my punishment was not to watch tv so I I just picked up other habits when I was very young I never got into this I needed tv in my life right and I don't know why I never bought a television I never I, I never felt the need for it's one. not a bad thing and I think it would probably be something that we can assume that it'll be eventually trendy to not have like to not want technology to be sort of like um, rejecting of it just to be kind of purist and, and rejecting of it. Um, That's how I am. Uh, I mean, and, and when I finally caved to the smartphone, I, oh my God, that thing. And I was single at the time I got my smartphone. So I, it became my boyfriend. I mean, I was like, holy shit, look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> you know, I mean, look what we can do. I like, oh, Sharita, this is not good. Not good. <laughs> Play against your, this is way, this is like, you've got a television in your hands. Watch out, you know? <laughs> and that's what we all do. We have a TV in our hands now. I or mean, in our really butts crazy. or in our crotches or at our... Backpacks you know, where people purses. take this, where people take it I on mean, their arms I mean, when they work out. You know, it's unbelievable to me. I mean, oh my god! I just like I. So I'm, you know, and I'm not I saying always, stick it in your butt. I'm just saying back pocket. Exactly, <laughs> and I feel like I realized, you know, years back as well. I was like, my God, we need like an etiquette class on these these things. Like we we need mm. like a how to be conscious with your technology class, you know? Mm. And I, you know, I, that's eat a great a idea. When I, you know, when I ate out many years ago, which I haven't, you know, I'm not, tra I'm not traveling for work right now. I'm, I'm just working from home and doing everything virtually like most other coaches and, and consultants and whatever. And, uh, but the, one of the things I used to observe all the time and especially the last, you know, decade, obviously, I'd be sitting in a restaurant. There's groups of people all over the place. They're all on their phones. Yeah, they're not connected they're not to, each to each other. other. And I was like, <coughs> this is insane. 
like I'm like, look at the kids, kids. Yeah. And kids. Kid, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I, you know, with my, my partner who, who, you know, passed away last year, um, he had a son and, mm -hmm. and, um, we did a lot of things with the kids, you know, neighborhood kids and stuff. And, I couldn't believe these kids. Like I, I was blown out of the water. Like they would. Well, they don't there. even know how to be connected to each other. They're, They're not very, connected very to uncomfortable. They're all sitting on their devices playing a game against each other in the same room, and and that's just acceptable now. I mean, it's just what they they, they think do. is cool. Yeah. And and I don't see that like alarms me. Oh, it know? alarms me too. I think it alarms it alarms parents too. I mean, I'll speak from my own experience because. And, and w all of this isolation from the last two years, and then kids yeah. have to wear masks at school too. So they're not oh. even like seeing each other's expressions. It's, um, yeah. So there, yeah. so there's definitely, um, there's going to be healing from this. Well, you know what? I think we're starting to move, like it's starting to move in that direction, um, but it's not in full we, yet. And that's, and, that's yeah. next year too. I mean, <laughs> that'll be a global thing the, the universal energy of 2023 takes, if we don't master the value of compassion in 2022, what you, what we are going to collectively need to do to heal in 2023 is it's a ginormous task. Well, it's a big because thing. I mean, I see it of how this has fallen in a, in a domino effect. Yeah. Yep. On the mentality of our, I mean, you, I mean, it's a, such a sensitive point of yep. what has happened to our children alone, let alone what the adults are dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm in awe of, I mean, I don't have physical kids, so I don't have to directly deal with that, but knowing what parents I know are dealing with I my heart goes out to people I mean it's, and it's not a time to to go unconscious about the kids right now I think it's no. re like we got to plug in really intensely and I think I personally believe that you know these Gen Z kids um came in f for this time and so but their the contrast of their experience right now is gonna it's it's a really hard time and and I think it's gonna really force them to deal with their own addiction, addictive tendencies within themselves at a young age. I mean, identity mm -hmm. is already, we know, we know gender fluidity, sexual fluidity is a really big thing too. So identity, I think is really present in this young group at a very yeah. young age. And so mm -hmm. as we heal, I think it's going to be really fascinating to see them come back online because they're very sensitive souls they're sensitive they're wired Very for prime so. time they're they're yes. in terms of having the they're super intuitive super empathic they're amazing manifestors visionaries um and so this is their this is their cutting their teeth in a it, you know it's sort of like i don't know like they're a, a, their depression in a way you know, like it's a very, it, like mm -hmm. if we were a tree, if they were trees and they had tree rings, like you would be able to see this event on all of the, you're going to, this, this event yeah. is going to be a mark on our kids. And, and the majority of them, when you say like, you know, they have this intuition and they have this um, visionary, they're all born when Neptune was still in Aquarius, which is a very oh. interesting, it's what blankets them as the generation that they are. Oh, that's how say more about that. Classified. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, there's a whole, my, yeah, we could go on another whole rabbit hole, talk about that. Oh, um, cool. I want to hear. We're all classified, you know, and, and why our generation deals with, you know, our age bracket has another whole understanding, like Neptune was back. Neptune was just leaving Scorpio when, when you and I got, got back on the planet. So oh. um, we're, we're the Neptune and Sagittarius people. <laughs> oh, and I, <laughs> we're, you know, we're open to a lot of things. Let's just put it that way. That's but for sure. Yeah. Much more but than this generation. At that, um, it's where all of the, um, it's looking at how the outer planets are in their long-term places, what sign they're in, and then how those cycles move. And that ends up over the, you know, 
as time moves along, it starts to classify why, you know, age brackets of people are going to, you know, they're not going to be exactly the same, but there's a, you know, there's an encompassing thing that the, there's an essence. Have, there's some essence of unification of, oh, they, you know, they can relate to something super easy, but they are still the individual. You know, yes. that's, that's always what Absolutely. I am here to do is, you know, none of us is, the, none of us is a one size fits all. The only thing that is the constant is we all own a heart and we live on the earth. And that is the best thing to understand about how you're going to have to love to evolve. That's the only way you're going to do it. I love so, it. I love that. Know. That's really cool. I love oh, that. My exograms of, of all time, you know, those. Oh my gosh. Things. And I really have to get, I, I, I really need you to do my kids charts. Like for sure. <laughs> like we need to set that up because mama needs all the data she can get. <laughs> it's like, it's Oh, so, you damn. know, something for me. And, and, you know, we were talking about how are we taking this, um, you know, uh, reflective time. And then we, uh, and we, you know, I, we've all got to do it in our own way. And, yeah. um, you know, I mean, I've worked with kids for years. I mean, I've done baby readings. I Aww. I've had the pleasure of doing this work for 21 years now. And now I have children who are no longer children. I did the baby reading 20 years ago and, you know, they're wow. a young adult in college now. And that is to, to have seen what I said when they were born come true through their name or just what I saw that they had an ability and a purpose of, I mean, I've got master artists happening, you know, it, it's just like, really, it's amazing to watch how it does unfold this way. Um, and I had been told years back, you, you, you need to focus on kids, you know, with this work. And my goal, by the time I get to that second Saturn return, which I still got a few more years to get to the second one. Um, <laughs> Me too. But I have, I have, I'm, I'm much further away from the first one now than I am. I'm closer to the second than I am. Me to too. The first. Yeah, we're, we're, we're heading up the back up. We're heading back up to that point. So I, in knowing how America is changing the systems and mm -hmm. all these things, my, my mission has been we've got to put the astrology and the numerology in school yeah oh that would be so cool be right because why not like yeah why because kids kids these growing pains of of and i'm not saying you're not going to learn you're always going to learn make mistakes you got to fail at something to other or to, to know how to you know do something differently but my god if it, why you could avoid heartache and have a much more seamless journey. Right. In joy. It, just more guidance. It's just another point of guidance. In your life and stop being a square peg trying to fit in a round hole, you know, totally. Um, do your own thing. Like if you're not meant to be a doctor, what the hell are you going to med school for? Right. You know, right. Anyway, just because right. which is or whomever. Right. You know. Right. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it's, I think that this younger generation does have a sense of that, um, more, they do. more they're congruence. Very yeah. Their yeah. congruence with old, uh, way of fitting in boxes is, is totally non-resonant. It's just a no-go like, no, nope, they don't will not that. do it, you it's know? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, well, we're going to have to wrap this up cause I got to get out of here, but I wanted to invite you to like sell your, your spiel and also just give like, a, let's give a final tip for when we can have you back for this time period. How, what can, what do people really need to focus on? We talked about resting and relaxing. What else is ahead, you know, month or two? Well, let's have you come on As again. We're looking at February, we're, we're going to look you know, we turn around, Venus turns around the 29th of January. That's just coming up this Saturday. And then the next week on the 3rd of February is when Mercury turns direct again out of retrograde. So we move through both Venus and uh, uh, Mercury shadow periods, which is, that's the time it's going to take them to retrace everything they just went backwards through <laughs> mathematically. Mm -hmm. So the shadow is the correction period. So for all of us, whatever it is that, you know, we felt held up about, 
oh, this isn't flowing right. This isn't moving. And well, I can't get this to, to get results. Right. We're going to notice in February, we, we can get our foot on that gas. The light is green. The stall pattern, the the, the stalling pattern sort of chills a little and starts yeah, that moving. Feeling of feeling like we're not moving is going to shift. However, the universal month energy on the collective for, for, for February is, is an eight. It pops up from the seven to an eight. So the requirement of the infamous patience is still there. It's still a slow and steady moving forward. It's not this wham, bam action. Oh my God, I'm going to go 90 miles an hour again. Mm -hmm. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Mm -hmm. You're not going to go up. We're not going to go back up to normal speed yet. We're, we we, we want to like just start to pick up the acceleration a little bit. Like Which you know, feels like going. moving out of winter a little. The days are getting a little bit longer. And, and then, yes, and we're still, yeah, and we're naturally in the energetic cycle of winter anyway, which that's what winter always wants you to do, no matter yeah. what yep. cycles are going on otherwise. Winter yep. always wants you to have that. The fact that humanity in climates where it, it, we are in a winter like we are, we should never be keeping up to, to like the speeds. We, yeah. We're all blacked out. No, nobody lives in rhythm with yeah. nature. Yeah. Nobody. And we have to do that. That's another thing we would love to shift. So, um, so let me ask you this. Still let getting me out, but we're moving, we're feeling something, but that's the intensity of the Pluto return for America. Most, most importantly, the dates of the 20th through the 22nd, there's I think the whole month is just like that for people. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I didn't realize oh, that. Oh, oh, yeah. It's that kind of month. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and then March is just going to be like, Bow, pow, pow. There's gonna be a lot of powing in 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 March globally. Wow, wow. Um, and so then, let me you know, let me let me ask you a nuanced question. So when we're coming out of a Venus and Mercury retrograde, will we like will people who are sensitive notice what that you know that the feeling? Well, I I would hope so. Yeah, um, I'm just curious, like to help people who are listening to this, like check it out. Like when this happens, notice what you're feeling, and what what would you recommend they pay attention to, just to for the hell of it. Well, the the most important thing to first pay attention to is where was this reflective energies going on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in what in their life. Uh -huh. What cycles are you personally in otherwise? Um, but where did Venus ask you within your life to reflect? Was it your career? Was it your family? Was it your relationships? Was it your was children? It every was it, damn thing, everything. <laughs> where was it, you know? Yeah. Uh, was it in that area of your life where you sit on the mountain and you look at the whole picture? Because mm -hmm. there's that area of your life too. Yeah. Um, and then where did Mercury? Because Mercury backtracked into signs. He did it first part in Aquarius, and then he finishes up in Capricorn. The Venus is in Capricorn. So what's happened for everybody is you, you had the, the Venus doing her business of reflecting. And then just when you kind of thought, oh, I'm done with that. Oh, no. Mercury came back and it's like, oh, I've got more for you to reflect on <laughs> in that same area of your life. So, so people are going to feel like, I thought I I went through that I thought layer. I was done here and yeah. then you're not done. Uh, so mm -hmm. then we, like, again, so what we will be able to do is, is take all this. If we've done that reflective homework mm -hmm. really well, then we can go, Oh, and then, and then you start moving forward and you start like taking the information you gathered in research, which is what you should be doing. And then you act on it and then you can move forward because the thing of it is the shadows the, the reflection cycles of retrogrades always cast this like, it's not an illusion per se, but it's like whatever we do energetically under them, it, there's something not correct about it and mm. it will need to be fixed later. Like a distortion, Somehow, like some sort of distortion. 
it's a little bit of a distortion energy. So once we're in the shadows, we feel different because the energy just isn't the same. I mean, it's not the same moment in time anymore. Mm -hmm. And we're moving, we're being set, we're being told energetically, mm -hmm. rhythm, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. we can move forward. So you are going to feel drastically different. Mm -hmm. Collectively, we still got a lot of, we got, we got a big mess in, in, on the globe, the work is still, still working. Yeah, we have the more to do. Yeah. We've got the theme of mastering the value of compassion for the entire year. So that's everybody's collective homework. And then we've got our individual homework. So you got to know how to work with it on a personal level. And then you can work with what's going on externally much better. You're going to get a better it. result. You got to take care of yourself first. It's just like being on the airplane and they tell you, oh, if the plane's going to go down, put your life jacket on you first because well, you can't do nothing not wearing it you can't do it if you're dead <laughs> it's like so I, we I oil ourselves emergency work workers ourselves. do that too they that's what they say safety first for the for the um the first responders or whatever. Yeah. If you, if you go into an unsafe environment, you got to think of your own experience and the energy energy of what we're experiencing right now requires a little bit of intentional shielding or, or ener energy well, hygiene. I'm going to say, I'm going to say yeah. energy hygiene. Um, energy hygiene, get your shields up. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Your filters, Filter in what you need, filter out what you don't. <laughs> and it's not, none of this is selfish. And I think a lot of people have that conditioning or programming, whatever you'd want to call it. Mm -hmm. that, oh, if you're taking care of yourself in that way, oh, that means you're selfish. Yeah. That's not being selfish. No. That's well, and if, if that's your problem, you've got other fish to fry. We're talking to the people who already get it and you're, you're, exactly. we, and we're that the, is, yeah. we want you to be hitting the ground running because the people who are watching this show are already lined up with, you're already aware of yeah, many things. Well, yeah. We're not so. talking to the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. To the un, the unaware, like the, but, but do take extra time for yourself. You deserve it. And your yep. work in helping humanity to raise its consciousness is it, it starts with you. It does. It starts with us. It absolutely does. It's the, the, it's the only way it works. That's, know? that is correct. My dear Sharita com, the Sharita star.com. That's correct. And uh, <laughs> she she is really your your best resource for getting a real vision of what it is that you've, you know, the, your astrological formatting is all about. Like she has got that nailed. Um, and I, I just appreciate you in my life and sharing your time with this show and getting this important information out there so people can feel even more supported in their journey. And if you have questions, leave comments, questions in the uh, comment box or comment zone, whatever. Yes, absolutely. Subscribe, share, get the word out. And um, we're going to have Sharita on more frequently to have her help us navigate the astrology and make sense of it. So any final words, my dear? That's it. Just um, my gratitude to you and your listeners and uh, watchers, I should say. Well, maybe yeah. they're just listening because, you know, you can put these on and just listen like a podcast. If yeah, you they're like one of, <laughs> like yeah, me, they're hanging out anything. with us. It's like they're just <laughs> hanging out with having the coffee thanks. talk. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with us. And, yeah. Uh, you know, we love you. And, in, you know, as challenging of uh, these obvious uncertain times that we're in, having your soul certainty is is what you can have. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. good. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Um, it does it take extra effort these days. It sure does. Um, mm -hmm. But that extra effort is 110 percent worth it. It's so, exponentially helpful. <laughs> and it allows you to uh, work consciously and 
cancel the compulsion. That's what I say. Let's can it's like they say cancel whatever, like cancel compulsion. That's it. I so love that. Well, compulsion. instead of canceling <laughs> one another, cancel the compulsion and really be your best self. And Sharita said it, we love you. We believe in you. You can do this. We're all in it together. And uh, yeah, until next time, take good care. We love you.